بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the next uh, 35 minutes I will talk about uh, useful signs in thoracic imaging Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in Allahumma anfa'ni bima alamtani wa alimni bima yanfa'ni wa zidni alma'in innaka anta alim al-hakim My learning objective to review common signs in thoracic imaging and to provide knowledge about uh, the features related to each sign and to provide examples and illustration of these signs using different modalities. To discuss the pertinent uh, feature related to each sign with emphasis on the cause of appearance of these signs and differential diagnosis to be considered. What is the radiological sign? is a recognizable characteristic pattern used to describe abnormalities visualized on imaging modalities that you ultimately aid in the diagnosis and subsequent treatment of the disease. Benjamin Ferson used to say that the name of the name saves time, helps you re remember the sign and advertises it. So when a classic sign is invoked, it immediately brings an image to mind and added confidence to the diagnosis of certain condition. The first sign we start, one, two, three sign, it is also called Garland triad sign, and it is suggestive of sarcoidosis and characterized by bilateral hilar and white paratracheal lymphadenopathy as seen in this image. The galaxy sign, it is a small satellite nodule surrounding uh, the periphery of confluent nodule measuring about one to two centi centimeter giving the appearance of the galaxy. As uh, seen in this picture, there is a nodule here with small peripheral nodules giving the, the appearance of galaxy. L-bronchogram, it is seen in CT scan and uh, blame film, and it is as a branching linear tubular lucenses representing a bronchial tree passing through airless lung, and it is indicate parenchymal lung disease seen in many conditions like uh, adult respiratory distress syndrome here as with the branching uh, and highly membrane disease and in collapse, lung collapse, and also seen in the CT scan as branching linear lucences, and also see, can be seen in lymphoma and bronchoalveolar carcinoma as in this patient. Dark bronchial sign is the appearance of a relatively dark bronchial adjacent to the grand glass obesity and it is uh, helpful in diagnosis of pneumocystis carini, pneumocystis infection. As we see here, diffuse grand glass obesities with dark bronchial sign suggestive of uh, pneumocystis infection, but it is not specific, uh, can be seen in other conditions like interstitial pneumonia, hypersensitivity, sarcoidosis. Air crescent sign, it is, can be seen in X-ray and uh, CT scan, and it is crescent of air surrounding mass in the pulmonary cavity, and it is characteristic of invasive pulmonary aspergillosis in immune compromised patient. If you see this sign, Patient means in the recovery state, and it should be and should be differentiated from the monad sign in patient with aspergilloma in pulmonary cavity. As we see here, this is area of consolidation surrounding by halo in patient with leukemia, indicating invasive uh, uh, aspergillosis. And after, and it, this is the early CT scan, and after this, after one week, there is a recrescent sign surrounding the, uh, the consolidated area, indicating the patient is recovery from 
in the regular stage from the infection. Monad sign uh, air surrounding the fungal or fungal fungus ball or mycetoma in the existing cavity like the histoplasmosis sarcoidosis and this patient, the patient is not immune compromised. As we see here, this is the cavity in the left upper lobe with air surrounding the mycetoma in patient with TB. Our technique nibble, this is the soft tissue density lateral to the aortic ascending aorta or aortic arch indicating the left superior intercostal vein. Bulging fissure sign. It is seen classically within clepsial pneumonia, can be seen in the uh, chest X-ray and CT scan, and can be also seen in other infection and tumors. As we see here, chest X-ray and the bulging sign of the pneumonia involving the right upper lobe with bulging sign of the minor fissure. Cervical thoracic sign. It is described by Benjamin Fersson. If the mass, if the mass extended above the clavicle, indicating it is located in the posteriorly in the posterior mediastinum. If the mass it is in the, at the at the clavicle and indicate it is anteriorly located. As we see here, the mass extended above the clavicle in bare in ganglion neuroma patient, and it is in the posterior mediastinum, and here the mass is extended, not extended above the clavicle in this patient with lymphoma. Thoracoabdominal sign, also as we see the mass, if the mass seen below the diaphragm and above the, the diaphragm, it is located posteriorly, and if the mass it is in, seen above the diaphragm, not extended below the diaphragm, it is located anteriorly, as we this in this patient, we see mass, retrocardiac mass, as seen in the above and below the diaphragm, and in the CT scan, it is, uh, it is a duplication cyst. Comatel sign seen on CT scan and it is consists of linear obesity extended from the subpleural mass toward the hilum and it is reduced by distortion of blood vessels and the bronchi to adjacent round atelectasis. Here you see the atelectatic uh, lung causing the pleural looks like a mass lesion with linear Obesity is extended to the hilum from distortion blood vessels and the bronchi. Coronavirate and the blood tail sign. Coronavirate is the pneumocyst around, cyst around the form zone due into the surrounding structure due to dysmoblastic reaction. But the tumor invasion can be also present. Blue tail. It is linear obesity extended from the peripheral of the nodule to the visceral pleura. As we see here, speculated or strands around uh, mass here due to dysmoblastic uh, reaction with the pleural tail sign and coronary radiator sign are also in this patient with bronchogenic carcinoma. MESA or table mountain sign, it is uh, a flat topped mountain, Mesa is a flat top mountain in Cape Town and seen as a global break as a focal global thickening a global thickening can be calcified and as we see here flat global thickening and in another patient with calcification with global break in patient with asbestosis. Signs of a pneumomediastinum Continuous diaphragm sign, normally the midline of the diaphragm cannot be seen. However, if we see the midline of the diaphragm, it means that there is air either in the pneumomediastinum or pneumoperitoneum. If it is above, it is in pneumomediastinum. If it is below, it is in pneumoperitoneum.
built anymore Britonium. As we see here, also with surgical emphysema in this patient. And here you see the whole diaphragm in patient with anemia Britonium. And this is the CT scan. We see the diaphragm in patient with anemia mediastinum. Double bronchial sign, we see in pneumomedistinal air surrounding the trachea or its major branches in pneumomedistinum as we see in this patient. Hair stake sign, this is seen in pediatric uh, patient and as, air, as the air surrounding the heart above and below giving the appearance of hair stake from monet bending uh, as we see here the hair stick sign uh, surrounding the heart above and below and also there is a, a, spin, a spinical sign indicating uh, indicating lifting of the right uh, thymic lobe nacrio v sign this sign can be seen in just X-ray and CT scan, and there is air. It is dissected between around the descending aorta and medial part of the uh, medial part of hemidiaphragm, and seen as V-shape. As we see here, the air is surrounding the descending aorta and the medial sign, giving the appearance of V-shape. Ring around artery sign, you see the scene in the air surrounding the pulmonary artery or its main branches, as we see here in this patient in the lateral chest x ray, uh, air surrounding the pulmonary artery and on the CT scan in patient with the pneumomedistinum. Spinocal sign, spinocal cell sign. Spinnaker means the blowing of the cell of the of the cell. Spinnaker cell sign or angle wing sign. It is uh, seen that the in, patient, in pediatric patient with pneumomedistinum causing lifting of the lifting and um, elevation of the thymus lobe. And also, this patient has right-sided pneumothorax with deep sulcus sign. Patient, uh, patient with pneumomedistinum with a continuous diaphragm sign and, uh, and elevation of the air surrounding the thymic lobes. Tubular artery sign, uh, there are uh, air outlining the aorta and its major branches as we see here the air is outlining the aortic uh, knuckle and air also uh, tubular structure is surrounded by air due to bracticophilic vein of, uh, ovacification. Here also subclavian and subclavian vein it is outlined by air and a patient with uh, Continuous diaphragm sign with surgical emphysema above. Triangular of air signs, you see hyperlucency behind the sternum and anterior to the cardiac base. And the aortic root differentiating the pneumomedistinum from the pneumopericardium. As we see here, this is the air in the retrosternal area and anterior to the heart. Extra pleural sign uh, described 1965, and it is air is dissected between the parietal pleural and thoracic cage and diaphragm and connecting to the mediastinum. As we see here, there is air be posterior to the hemothorax, hemothorax between the hemothorax and the chest wall. Crazy breathing sign. Uh, it present as a scattered or diffuse ground glass attenuation with soba or embossed with intralobular and interlobular 
septal thickening commonly seen in high resolution CT scan and uh, first described by pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. Seen in other condition, not specific for pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, we see here patient with alveolar pulmonary pulmonary alveolar proteinosis with a grand glass appearance with septal thickening. CT and your sign. It is also called lightning sign and it identification of the blood vessels within the airless portion of the lung on the CT chest contrast study. Initially, it was described by, for a specific sign for bronchoalveolar carcinoma, but it is not a specific seen and commonly in infection, pulmonary edema, lymphoma, etc. As we see here, there is an area of consolidation with uh, a blood visit seen through the consolidated area on the right side and left side in this patient. CT halo sign. It is first described in 1985 and it is you see a circular mass or area of consolidation surrounded by halo and in the, it is indicating pulmonary hemorrhage also seen in virus inflammatory or neoplastic condition. As we see here, there is a small area of consolidation surrounding by grand glass. Obesities, the halo also in here in patient with leukemia with invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. Atoll sign, it is the reverse of, uh, of the uh, halo, CT halo sign, and it is you see central area of a grand glass obesity surrounded by denser consolidation of a crescentric or ring shape, at least 2 mm. It is found uh, specific for uh, relatively specific for cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. As we see here, grand glass obesity surrounding by a crescentric uh, consolidated area and both in the uh, in the left side and the right side of the lower lobe, also with this patient. Bat wing sign, also called angle wing sign or bat wing or butterfly sign and you see bilateral bilihydral consolidation and seen in pulmonary edema, pneumonia, uh, other conditions. As we see here in patient with pulmonary edema with cardiac enlargement with bi bilateral bilihydral area of valvular consolidation. Reverse bat wing sign You see here area of peripheral consideration, sparing the central part and can be seen in many conditions like eosinophilic pneumonia, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, vasculitis, as we see in this patient with peripheral area of consolidation with invasion to the chronic eosinophilic pneumonia. For one sign, you will see the, this patient with the trachomalacia as an in inspirus in respiratory phase and it, this is in the expiratory phase collapse to the trachea giving the beyonce of unlike beyonce. Deep sulc signs of uh, pneumothorax, deep sulcus sign seen in chest x-ray, so by chest x-ray as the air in the lateral to the costophrenic angle and it is more deep and and all you see in this patient this is the deep sulcus sign with patient with motor vehicle accident with bilateral lung contusions and uh, surgical emphysema bilaterally Another patient with deep sulcus sign here with bilateral lung contusion. Visual pleural sign normally is when there is a pneumothorax, there is separation between the visera and brighter pleura by the air, leading to visualized or visual pleura 
as a white line seen in the chest X-ray. As we see here, you see the visible pleura as a white line, and this is the pneumothorax. Black pleural sign, it is extensive uh, seen in patients with uh, alveolar microlithiasis, and there, if there is extensive alveolar calcification, make the water density of the pleura a bioblucent line lying between the pulmonary infiltrate and the adjacent tube. As we see here, extensive alveolar calcification and the pleura appear as lucent line between the calcification and the adjacent rib. Gongo leaf sign. Extensive surgical emphysema through the chest wall, uh, tracking between the fibers of the pectoralis major muscles, giving the appearance of Gingo leaf. Here you see extensive uh, surgical emphysema with uh, tracking between the fibers of the pectoralis muscles, giving the appearance of gongo leaf. Falling lung sign. This seen in uh, uh, described in 1970, and this is to collapsed lung by fracture bronchus. And we see here, this is the collapsed, uh, this is the extensive pneumothorax with collapsed, with collapsed uh, lung and non-dependent part and the lateral aspect. Fat, bad sign, accumulation of fat between the parietal pericardium and parietal pleura seen on both sides, uh, right cardiophonic or left cardiophonic angle. As we see here, there is uh, cardiac uh, apex with fat on the between in the left side and the cardiac apex and on the right cardiophonic angle also. Feeding vessel sign, small pulmonary vessel is seen directly to the nodule, signifying the hematogenous or origin of the nodule seen in septic emboli metastasis and fraction AV fistula. As we see here, this is patient with young patient with septicemia with multiple nodules. Some of them is cavitating with blood vessels projecting to the directly to the to the nodule or cavity. Finger and graph sign you see branches, tubular or finger-like soft tissue or V-shaped densities due to mucus impaction can be seen on just a radiograph and CT scan. And it is seen originated centrally and directed periphery and seen in many conditions. Allergic pulmonary spiritual loss is one of the common causes, cystic fibrosis. Here we see chest X-ray with the finger with the patient with allergic pulmonary aspergillosis with uh, obesity uh, like fingers and the CT scan also and of this patient associated with three blood appearance. Flat waist sign you see and it is indicate left lower lobe collapse. And uh, visualized in the frontal if you higher structure shift downward and rotation of the heart, giving the appearance of flattening of the cardiac waist. As we see here, this is the left lower lobe collapse, the vertical the vertical orientation of the bronch left main bronchus and the flattening of the aortic knuckle and pulmonary artery. Golden S sign described in 19 uh, uh, by Golden uh, by Russ Golden, and uh, there is central mass in the hyla region causing collapse of the right upper lobe with, uh, with convexity on the uh, opposite the central mass and the concavity of the of the 
uh, or collapse of our lobe with shifting of the mediastinum upward. Juxtaphenic sign was described in 1980, it presents a stent or beak like a projection in the hemimedial hemideform due to seen in the upper lobe atelectasis, sometimes in middle lobe atelectasis. As we see here in patient with fibrotic radiation fibrosis with tinting of the left hemideform. Loft shield sign, you see this is uh, seen in the left upper lobe collapse due to central mass lesion with the crescent of air around the uh, around the water and here you see the central mass and real like obesity on, on the left of our lobe. Got the bronchus of sign refer to the abrupt uh, truncation of the bronchus seen in cancer bronchus um, mucus blocking trauma and associated with collapse as we see here different patient with gut bronchus sign in the central part and the peripheral part uh, with patient with bronchogenic carcinoma. Chiro sign, it is uh, related to pulmonary nodule with central lucent cavity as uh, seen in CT scan uh, due to seen in the primary tumor, metastasis, infection, etc. As we see here in patient with metastasis, multiple nodules, some of them cavitating, giving the appearance of cheerio a breakfast cereal. Holy leaf sign, there is a, a refer to appearance of geographic calcific black calcification on chest X-ray seen on face. As we see here, bilateral pleural calcification, pleural break calcification seen on the chest X-ray, giving the balance of uh, holy leaf sign. Hilum converging sign. This is called by Filson. If the if we see the the blood vessel conversion to the hilar mass, it is a pulmonary artery and hilar overlay sign if we see the mass, the pulmonary vessels are seen through the mass, so this is a mediastinal mass, either anterior to the hilum or posterior to the hilum, as we see in this picture. Here we see in the in the uh, uh, patient with uh, patient with left mediastinal mass, anterior mediastinal mass, saluting the left cardiac border and see the blood vessels uh, uh, through that mass. With patient with thymoma, here patient with uh, a neurogenic tumor, which is located posteriorly, you see the blood vessels through the mass and not saluting the heart. Incomplete border sign, it is seen, this is indicate that extra pulmonary mass, and we see the part of the mass, it is well denilated. The other part of the mass is not well denilated. So this is indicating the extra pulmonary location, and it is, this in this patient, it is fibroma. Tapered margin sign, it is also called ball under the rug sign, lesion in the chest wall or blow in the mediastinum, and giving the appearance smooth, they about to bronchus with obtuse angle. As we see here, this is the pleural, uh, pleural or chest wall lesion, extra pulmonary lesion, giving the appearance of ball under rug sign with obtuse angle. Here we patient with a tear with ball ring sign, ball under rug sign with fibrous dysplasia signs of pulmonary embolism, Fleshner sign which was described as a dilatation of the proximal pulmonary artery in patient with pulmonary embolism, as we see here pulmonary embolism with 
if the one but feeling defective the one but feeling the right and left pulmonary artery with the dilatation of the main pulmonary artery knuckle sign it is abrupt abrupt uh, abrupt uh, termination abrupt tapering of the pulmonary artery due to embolus and Hampton sign, we see the, there's pulmonary infarction, pulmonary infarction secondary to pulmonary embolism, and we see it in the peripheral part with its apex toward the hilum. And this patient with uh, Hampton pulmonary infarction with pulmonary embolism, as this is another patient and another patient. Saddle shape sign. It is uh, there is a thrombus extended uh, in both pulmonary uh, extended in both pulmonary arteries, and it is in the at the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk. Follow meant sign. You see there is central filling defect in the pulmonary artery due to the thrombus giving the appearance of the bolo mint. A railway, a railway track sign. You see the filling defect extended on the long axis of the pulmonary artery and surrounding by contrast. Melting ice cube sign. This is described for the resolution of pulmonary hemorrhage following pulmonary embolism. As we see here, in follow up patient for six months, and you see the uh, resolution of pulmonary hemorrhage and pulmonary infarction in the in the in this patient. Worcester mark sign. It is a rare sign and uh, seen in two patients as uh, area of leukemia. Singing ring sign seen in patient with uh, bronchiectasis uh, due to sign uh, dilatation of the bronchi with uh, the uh, 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 representing the ring and the sing signet ring and this is the pulmonary artery it a tracking sign <laughs> It is parallel line obesity caused by thickened dilated bronchi seen on chest X-ray as we see here a tracking a tram a tram a track sign of the uh, bronchiectasis. String bead sign seen in the patient with the bronchiectasis with varicose bronchiectasis, cluster grape sign patient with the cystic bronchiectasis as we see in this patient. Scimitar signs, this is uh, anomalous of pulmonary vein and they present as pulmonary as a tubular structure looks like a sword. And it is a drain to the IPC or portal vein or hepatic vein. Silhouette sign, this is called by Filson 1950 and most useful sign in thoracic imaging and this sign represents when intra-thoracic uh, lesion touches the border of the heart or the diaphragm. As we see here is the lesion uh, uh, obliterate the middle the right and left cardiac border it is located uh, boosted, uh, located anteriorly it is obliterated the uh, diaphragm located in the right lower lobe if it is located uh, obliterate our technical on the apical posterior segment and if it is located by the spina it is located on the anterior segment and if it is located on the descending aorta it is located posteriorly as we see here this is the area of consolidation or uh, obliterated the uh, right uh, cardiac border and it is located anteriorly in the middle lobe and it is here located in the lingula obliterating the left cardiac border it's no storm sign it is in innumerable small nodules surrounding uh, uh, frequently associated with metastasis as we see here. 
multiple small nodules involving both lungs around them, they distributed in patients with thyroid metastasis, a split pleural sign. It is seen in uh, CT chest as thickening of uh, visual and parietal pleural surround uh, separated by collection seen in, in by my patient. However, can be seen in other conditions like mesothelioma, pneumothorax. As we see here, thick and enhancing patient with embyema uh, split blower sign. Head cheese sign, you see the mixed attenuation of increase and decrease and normal obesity of the lungs due to infiltrative disease with the grand glass obesity and bronchitis and air trapping, giving the appearance with mosaic perfusion. Seen in many conditions like health hypersensitivity pneumonitis here head cheese sign and with patient with high attenuation, low attenuation and air traveling. Swiss cheese sign We see this is in patient with uh, lung laceration and uh, pneumatosis giving the appearance of Swiss cheese as a host. As we see here, patient with pneumo, less with the trauma patient with lung contusion and laceration with multiple holes, giving the appearance of a Swiss cheese appearance. Three in bad appearance, it is commonly seen in high resolution CT scan as small peripheral centrilateral soft tissue nodules connected to the multiple contagious linear branches obesities and it is indicating uh, endobronchial spread of the disease. It is uh, seen in many conditions, first described in TB. As we see here, you see three embodied appearance with, uh, due to mucus blocking of the bronchus and thickening of the alveolar ducts. Bronchial agitation and thickening of the mucus blocking. Beaded septum, septum sign. This sign consists of a regular nodular thickening of the interlobular septa and uh, seen in lymphangitis, carcinomatosa, sarcoidosis, etc. As we see here, this is a smooth sign, smooth inter septal thickening. And here, this is a nodular septal thickening in patients with lymphangitis carcinomatosa, and uh, this patient with sarcoidosis versus pulmonary edema. The size of uh, hydatus cyst, as the hydatus cyst, it is a grow. It will avoid the bronchus. And here you see air bubbles between the ectocyst and the endocyst. Air bubble sign and air it is dissected in the cyst and we see the meniscus sign or air crescent sign. And here we see double double air arcs or combo sign. And here you see the water lily sign, the floating membrane. And here well sign with collapse of the cyst, of the collapse of the membrane with effusion. And serpent sign, it is, uh, it is collapsed cyst with air bubbles and empty sign. In conclusion, familiarity of these signs help in arriving at least a diagnosis in the two-day practice. Radiology play signs radiology signs play an extremely relevant role role in the decision making process in in the identification of differential diagnosis and the achievement of more accurate specific diagnosis in spite their degree of 
specificity signs may be useful in the building or of more relevant and further narrow the differential diagnosis. In your imaging modalities may render some of these signs become obsolete, obsolete, but they don't change the basic pathophysiology in which the signs are based. Thank you very much for listening. Having a nice